morning. Today we're doing lesson 1.6. Think addition to subtract. I can use addition to help me subtract quickly and accurately. I can also reason about math. You will be watching your visual learning animation to go over the top of page 26 and we will be doing the bottom of 26 together. Convince me, how do you know which addition fact to use to complete the subtraction fact? Use the addition fact that has the same numbers as the subtraction fact. So if you have a subtraction fact of five minus three equals blank, you're going to use the same numbers, 3 plus what equals 5. That way you can figure it out quickly. 3 plus what equals 5. 3 plus 2. That way you know 2 is your answer to your subtraction problem. 5 minus 3 equals 2. 3 plus 2 equals 5. Your factors are the same. Let's look at our guided practice. The first one, they've given us help. 6 minus 4 equals what? 4 plus 2 equals 6. So they gave us the number. They wrote it in. They changed the numbers here so that the 4 is our, in our addition factors. 4 plus 2 equals 6. So 6 minus 4 equals 2. Let's do it on our own now. I'm going to move this up so you can see my counters. 9 minus 3 equals what? 3 plus what equals 9? 3 Let's count up with some counters. You can use blocks at home or beans or anything you want. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That gave us one, two, three, four, five, six. Three plus six equals nine. So nine minus three equals Six. Very nice. Move our counters out of the way. 14 minus 5 equals what? 5 plus what equals 14? Let's count up again. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That gave us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 5 plus 9 equals 14. So 14 minus 5 equals 9. 4 says 12 minus 4 equals what? So 4 plus blank equals 12. Let's count up. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That gave us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 4 plus 8 equals 12. So 12 minus 4 equals 8. That was a nice job. Good job counting. Make sure you use your counters or count up on a number line to check your work. Now you're going to turn off your video and take a minute to do your independent work before you go on to do 
your problem solving on the next page.